the Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, last episode we um, started the class trial um, and we haven't figured out who the killer is yet so <laughs> hopefully we can finish it in this episode. That being said, let's get started. All right, here is where we left off. No, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Yeah, so we found out that Pekko was in the bathroom rather than in the, the, the office where she could have turned off the power. So I don't think it's her. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. Oh man, it's what is all right. her? You don't have to worry. What? Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Hmm. <laughs> what? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. This is In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Uh -huh. Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. I'm so confused. For now, <laughs> are you on? we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. I feel like it's too obvious. It's too obvious for it to be Nagito. So, I, I honestly have no clue. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. Uh. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? I mean, yeah. Fortunately, it's the truth. We really Despite haven't. the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because... There's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? What? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? What? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I'm yeah, what? This is not... <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Suspecting you? each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. It's gotta be Let's stop life. this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. Yes, we do. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. Dude. I don't want to do this either. We have to. <laughs> me too. Please, take me oh home my already. God. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. S stop it. If everyone acts like this, I, I'm going to... Is this like some weird like bluff that he's going for? Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? He's trying to There's no make way them slip one friend something? would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. Okay, he's trying to motivate us or something. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. What's wrong? Chiaki. I think. You got this, me. Did you say something? What the heck? Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. A clue, you say? Oh, all my favorite people are talking. You now. know who the killer is? Not her, though. The killer? I don't know, but we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. 
Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Glow on the paint. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Huh? Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint, in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. Oh yeah, Nigito was the closest to it. And, but there was also, um, the little lady. I don't know, I forget her name. She was saying, like, someone was stepping on The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is! Hiyoko. Hmm, just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. Maybe I... First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. <laughs> Oh, oh, the the lamp, right? Here. The wire. Kyo must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. What if they felt like the wire and followed it? The killer actually used the power cord, the light bulb, the weight of the desk lamp, tablecloth. The power cord. I can prove it with Yay! this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, oh. the killer was able to move oh. to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. The person who reached the table by feeling along the desk lamp's power cord, the po that person would have been able to grab the desk lamp's cord right when the blackout happened. Nigito. Where is he? Sorry, Nigito. You're the only one! Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Oh man. Come on, dude, I like Judging you. from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. I mean, yeah. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! <laughs> but still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? I mean, yeah. Because Nagito's chance to have the knife under the table was when he was cleaning. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? Yeah, you could have easily if put it so, there before everyone knows. You would have had a chance to hide the knife. And then replace it. That's. If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now oh. that you mention it, he did, Nagito yeah. did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Oh man, it's all coming together. Yep, already prepared. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? The red mark will be in charge of cleaning. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, 
It proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. Yeah. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. Oh, we yeah, investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! Sky. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why do they like you? The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! Ah, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! You're scary! Huh? Those eyes, at that moment, Nagito's eyes, the darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. What? Nagito, how could you? I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I, mean, I never not. expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. Huh? But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed oh admirably. J just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I mean, but he did, so... I, I understand wonder. better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. Wow. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, Aww. stupid, Wait. insignificant human no. who can't do anything right. No. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! Wow. Okay. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. Just like you? That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, <laughs> now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he... Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? No! But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. No. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Byakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. How about the old looking building near the hotel? In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. 
and I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't have a time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case? Why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, Is he ultimately there's lucky? no way I'd expect you to Is remember he ultimate it. Lucky soon? A worthless talent for a worthless human. His talent. He's the ultimate lucky. I see. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? Just by luck. That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? Well, that's pretty magical. It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. I still lie But to I'm him. still the ultimate die. lucky student, you know? I'm left with a red mark? If there's someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. Mm. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Wow. E enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very you? capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? Oh. The despair it brings. I mean, yeah, good pick. I it's guess. only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! I mean Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Dude, what's your uh, language? Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, is Nagito really the killer? I mean, yeah, what if, what if, um, it wasn't him? What are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? Way to make us doubt everything. I already know that, but, um, there's just something a little strange. Yeah, honestly. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Dude! <laughs> I'm sorry! Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? Yeah. But we know who the killer is. Shut up! Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Okay. From this point on, Lightning's white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your truth bolts will d disappear if they touch these lines. So think of them as obstacles in your debate. Oh, it's this purple text. Please time your truth bolts just right so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. By the way, if the difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at all! If, in that case, all it means is this explanation didn't mean anything at all. It had no meaning whatsoever. Oh, please don't worry, I'm not gonna fall into despair. Even though it's meaningless, allow me to say one more thing. In this debate, you won't be able to shoot down the white noise. That will be explained later. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Go back and have fun. Apparently, you can't shoot the white noise. So, alright. Nikon's autopsy. <gasps> autopsy results! She might be mentioning that. Uh, so does account and Shiaki's account. I, I think it's strange that. The killer is so obviously Nagito! Um. He has already confessed. Um, you know. 
That bastard Nagito oh, is the no. one who did it. Okay, so there was one. He person. killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Oh, never mind. Oh, come on. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch. Whoa! Then Girl. let's prepare to cast our votes. Okay, it's there's two. There's the knifey head, and she performed the autopsy. She kn must know something that contradicts the crime scene. Can I look at that? Can I look at my results? I need to see this. What was in her autopsy results? Seen several puncture wounds to his chest. Okay, um. Wounds were inflicted by a thin, sharp weapon, roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters. So we're gonna use her thing to shoot down his. I, I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagi. Uh, uh, he he has already come. Um, you know that bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with a. No, that's wrong. Yeah, let's go. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Nikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But, but based on the entry wounds on Byakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Huh. That's weird. No, what, did they use hey, the iron spear? That better be true. Right. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Whoa! <laughs> no, 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 not a whorehouse! Dude, they're so mean to hey, her. Why are you threatening her? Is this <laughs> what you're trying Nikon to say, alone. Nikon? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Mm. Hey, don't blame me. Nikon's the one who said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> she has a point. Come on. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all Come on. this, what else do you intend to hide? Yeah. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh yeah, she has her hearing. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Okay. Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? He's right. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long what is it gonna heck? take for you to understand the damn rules? Yeah, come Nobody on! Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? Sure, Nagita. No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond your sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to figure out what happened besides the dark and the dark besides seeing. I, I'm thinking, cause this, this has that. It goes in a dining hall or else it fills gaps. I can prove it with this. Oh, that was so close. I was Even if we couldn't see meal. what happened in the dark, I'm yes. pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, I just right? saw it Ibuki? for a split second. I was like, yep, that's the one. Oh, real? The hearing. Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! Whoa, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Yeah, he said ow. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Why didn't well, they make any oh, noise when they were... Perhaps the breaker overlook... Hold on a sec. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. 
I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. Okay. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally <laughs> suck. You are so mean. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? Surely What's going on here? They threw down. <laughs> this is. Ow! Ow! It almost sounds like Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. Oh, someone did stab him from under the floorboards? He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife, but Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. It's not Nagito. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. Oh my god, it's not him. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife, and he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. It sounds plausible, I mean, just from listening to both what they both said at this at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! I can interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, it sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. So he didn't know. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. Huh. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. Someone got to But unfortunately, him. my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Nope. Then we're right back to square one. No, we're not. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth. We're not back at square one, you idiots. Think about it. If it's not him, it's gotta be someone else. They had to have used the floorboards. What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagito really not the killer? I don't think it's Nagito. Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? There's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him. But this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now's not the time for me to draw on we need to find Jackie's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we will die here. Got that right, Buster? Oh, suspended. Suspended? Suspended? Wait, what? Suspended? Well, now. Cross trial has reached its climax, but. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> Those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try and the guess the killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. Wait. Wait, no! Wait, I don't want to do that. If you guess right, I'll reward you $10 billion. Please don't. Please don't wipe my money. Or my, my, my data. Don't wipe my data, please. Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. I don't know who now the killer then, is. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh no! Left mouse button to continue. Continue on on B. Guess the killer challenge. 
I don't want to get my dad a wife. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue. Just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way you'd be able to guess the yeah. <laughs> And of course, there's no $10 billion either. Great. You're so evil. You truly are a villain. Okay, glad I didn't. Oh, yes. <laughs> Reopen. Thank you. Hi, Mona Me. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. <laughs> okay. The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? No, nope, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Cause I believe in everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. Thank you, I will. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. I mean, yeah. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion! B but um. there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. Although with like the gap in the floorboards and uh, the the blood-stained uh, sheets in the storage room, there's still more. Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagi. Yeah, he would have gotten dirty. You with know, the blood. nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. It's okay, Nikito. You're beautiful. Very attractive to a lot of people. Um, I mean, yeah. She was just talking about the one. <laughs> I'm not talking about your looks. <laughs> He's talking about the blood. There's no blood on Nagito. I see! Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes! Th that's it! I don't work on your talking, girl. <laughs> because under the <laughs> table, critical. there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, Strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> okay. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood. Oh, the, the clock. What do you think it could have been? The clock. Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? At least this isn't the end of Nagito already. Um, the thing that was used to block the blood splatter. It was the cloth. Uh, where is it? Speaky, this one. There you go. I can prove it with this! Aha! You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? A splatter. I mean... Th that could be it, but like... But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? There wasn't enough time, I don't You think. mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. It doesn't seem very... That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Yep. Th then, what does it mean? It's, he's not the killer. Maybe. The killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. No. There's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. He was under the floor. Even the inside of the tablecloth was right. bloody. So, there's no denying, Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same. 
right? Mm -hmm. I don't understand at all! I do. The place of Biahia got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. Huh? How'd you be? You look like you're onto something. I am! Really? But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but it's still not clear what that is. Come on! Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Why don't you just say it? Why do you Moving why forward, do I have to say it? We should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. Okay. okay. In scenes where you have to figure out important words, Hangman's Gambit! Improved. The goal is to line up the right letters in order so it reveals a keyword related to the incident in the question. Improved Hangman's Gambit is like a little puzzle game. Yes, we know that, we know. If two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, you'll fuse. What? You must make two of the same letters clash while you try to not let the two different letters clash. What? That's, that is what's most important. In order to do that, you begin a technique to catch and release. When you move the reticle with the mouse, then press the right mouse button while it's on top of that letter. You can snatch the letter like a vacuum. This is what it means to catch the letter. However, you can only catch one letter at a time, so please be careful. When you press the right mouse button while you have a letter caught, you can shoot it with... You can shoot it where your cursor is aiming. This is how you release the letter. With catch and release, you can change the position of the letters and hit letters into each other. Make sure you hit the same letter so you can fuse them. The fused letters will freeze and get, you, and get bigger. By pressing the right mouse button, you can blow it up and erase it from the field. This is what's called firing the letters. Catch and release with the right mouse button, and after you fuse and fire with the right mouse button. <laughs> God, that's a whole lot of right mouse buttons. However, if you just erase the letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of improved Hangman's Gambit is completing the keyword. Play the question with the tab key and figure out what keyword will answer that question. About lining up the keyword, instead of pressing the right mouse button to fire the letter, Please press the left mouse button. What is going on? You're making it more complicated. <laughs> if that happens at the same time the letter blows up, it'll be sent to the keyword list. If a letter, if a sent letter is correct, it will fit in the keyword list. If it's not, the influence god will take damage. You must write the keyword in order based on the flying letters. Please think about the completed word. Also, if you leave the fuse letter alone for a while, it will just blow up on its own. In that case, it will still damage you, so please be very careful. It took so long to explain it, but do you understand now? No! <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand any of it. Police said Yakuya got stabbed in the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my own pre- any my preconceptions and try to think about it. Something, something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. A place that's both under the table and not under the table means even further under the table. It's underneath the floor. Hey man's gambit. Okay, you need to give me a second. Blank, blank, blank. What? Letter explosion. Send a keyword. Yeah, what? What? What is tab? Where did the killer stab Yakia from? What? You want me to fuse them, right? Oh, you? I need a you, don't I? But how do I send it to the thing? <sighs> you. I need a you, don't I? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Give me a U, give me a U, come on, come on, come on. In, I need an in, I need an in now. In, 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 come the 
the frick on? No, no, I didn't mean to send it there. Sorry. Jeez. Almost pressing the left. The left. You in. D. E. E. I need E. I need E. E. R. I need an R. I didn't mean to do that. H. Oh my god. T H H. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, get off the screen. Get off. Get off. T H H. I need H. Okay. Get out of here. This is way, way long. T. Need a T. Get out of here. Oh. Under the floor. Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> F. Ah! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're stressing me out. You're stressing me out. No, I meant to press this one. I'm sorry. F L uh, L L L L L O O O O L O I need another O O O R R get stop it no <laughs> Get off, get off! Oh, 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 R, R, R! Give me an R! Give me an R! <laughs> I got it! Ow! Okay, that was so stressful. <laughs> got it! The killer must have stabbed Yakia from under the floorboards! Yeah. <laughs> under th Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. Gotta be it. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. Yep, that's exactly what happened. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. But from where? And how? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. Yeah. One person should know how to get under the floorboards. Huh. It's someone who's been trying to find a way under there for a while now. And he's got his earring. It's gotta be Gundam. Gundam you. Gundam, where are you? I'm just kidding. Is it you? You're the only one! Hey Gundam. Wow. You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Yes, sir. You referring to the hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? Answer him! About that Hellhound Earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboards, right? 
<gasps> Poor Gundoom! There it is! I've found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot put my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. Uh, what? And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So... Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different! With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, <laughs> it is of no concern! They're so cute! True. This is the evil them. fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. <laughs> what should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Shut up. He's amazing. Oh, man up and speak more clearly. Hey, uh, don't yell at him. I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. <laughs> One of my four <laughs> dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. <laughs> a secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! I, I love the hand. There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder, you know? Hey, don't talk anyway, to him like that! It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. Yeah. So... If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. It could hall. be... Yeah. From the storage room to the dining hall. Or, uh... Teru could have gone there. You think? I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. Yeah. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there, stab, stab, stab. He also stab! covered himself with the thing so that the blood didn't get on him huh. from under. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like? I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? Mm -hmm. So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. There were multiple people. Who wasn't at the party again? <coughs> I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Alibi. Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but... I was unable to leave the bathroom. <laughs> I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... <laughs> Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... Was... It obviously has to be him! Was... Tara Tara? Or, shoot. Wait, was he in the picture? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Fuyuhiko! Yay, 
Hey, it's decided. And he got in from the fire escape. What, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer. Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I'll fucking kill you. That doesn't sound See? Great. You're making threats again. Exactly. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. Good news, you're now allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silencer with the right mouse button as many times as you want. When you use the silencer, you can shoot down the white noise. Your time limit will increase a little. However, if you shoot an actual remark with your silencer instead of the right white noise, the time limit will decrease. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? In that case, you'll still be able to use the silencer, but it'll be somewhat pointless. However, if you feel like doing a little bang bang, you can use it to your heart's content. Bang 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 If you press the escape key, you do the girls, good luck and have fun. Okay. Let's see what we got. Make your argument. What do I got in the chamber? Terror, Terror's account, Soda's account, and Chiaki's account. What are their accounts? What are their accounts even? What are the- uh, what are the accounts? I gotta read these. So we got Terror Terror's. The gas stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity, that's why Terra Terra couldn't use it during the blackout. What the hell? How was this supposed to help me? <laughs> Chiaki's account. Chiaki was standing guard outside Fuyuhiko, apparently came to the old building, then walked away. Mmm, I think it might be that one that we're gonna have to use. And so does the count. During the search of Yakuya, after the blackout, Kaz Kazi. I can't. Soda headed straight to the office. He didn't see anyone there, including Pekko. Yeah, okay. So I feel like we're gonna have to use Chiaki's to shoot down one of his. Was lurking under the floor like a cockroach! And they could have stared at panties all day. Whoa. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No, that's yes. wrong. Oh, let's go. Freak. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. I'm the alibi. What happened, Fuyuhiko? What are you doing here all alone in a place like this? Staying guard, Simona. Come on, just come inside. How diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. Oh, so it's not him. I should have said that earlier, dumbass. <laughs> it's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside, and he came to spy. Hmm. No, I don't think so. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. And someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During mm -hmm. the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. Well, you can check off the people who said something. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. <laughs> it was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Maybe they had like a light or something. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once it again. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. Hey, you shut up. You... You're not a nice guy. <laughs> the blackened or the spotless? Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Sir, you have no room to talk. You were going to kill him. Oh, uh, kitchen equipment, dual lumen case, and fire door. Fire door. 
I think. The hallway was really room. dark during the blackout. Er, okay, let me Moving think. to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. What? Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Oh, Maybe we have there to agree. another pair of night vision goggles. What a pain! I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It um, definitely sounds impossible. Equipment list, girl in case. Huh? The killer's method for moving in the dark might be what one per that one person suggested. What? Well, we're gonna have to shoot it with the equipment list, whatever. Whatever someone else says, so. Kitchen equipment list. Moving to the storage room like that was like making a seafood Is it really not- What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that! Oh. Okay, I thought that was gonna be wrong! That's why I didn't go with it. You know, the killer had a light with him. Wasn't there like- Oh, I was right? Yeah, good job, Akani. But where could they have found a light? In there the... was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Playing forks, three knives, twenty spoons, three frying pans, two wine glasses, five iron skewers. Uh, a portable stove. That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe the portable stove could be in life? Um, yeah. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable so stove isn't powered by electricity. And it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there. No, sorry. There's a hole in my argument. A hole? What kind of hole? It would be great. Okay, oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? Do I have to? Seriously? No, I'll that's you. wrong. Oh! <laughs> you frick! I hate these arguments. Will you be able to break through my argument? I don't like you anymore. What does he mean battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. There's no way I'm gonna lose against someone like him. Oh my God! Do I seriously? Are you kidding me? Okay, storage room, fire room, or equipment. <laughs> Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? Oh, I forgot. He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What soda? What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the off was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? What is going on? It's true that any light source in the dark hallway would have stood out. So if the killer did have a light, the reason Soda wasn't able to see it is, was... The reason... Crap! The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. Right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! <laughs> I tried like everything. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Okay. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh. Uh... Oh. Awkward. You still don't remember your talent, do you? <laughs> now, who cares about that right now? Nagato, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, 
Why don't you take a deep breath? Shut you up! You like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More hmm. importantly, can you hurry yeah, up and decide hurry? who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Wait, it's not Nigito. It's someone, but why would they even Whatever say that it Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. You're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I don't want- I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway spire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Yakia to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is... It has to be you! I have to select someone. So I'm thinking... Teru Teru. Because he was in the kitchen, right? Or was he? Was he? Hold on. Fudge! I can't- I can't change it. What? You're the only one! Teru Teru. Why am I right? Could it be you? <laughs> Please tell me I'm right. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because uh, what do you think? the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. When you were there. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Uh, Teru Teru. That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Seems pretty fun. Call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You screwed yourself over. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? <laughs> Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Ooh, my goodness. Why know. are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light and that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? Uh, I don't know. You're not gonna Stone say board? they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... there's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. That's true. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. Yeah, he what? actually went under the floorboards. What was under the floorboards, Gundam? No. My bestie, my bestie ever. there was nothing the related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. Light shining in the dark. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! I mean, yeah. If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. That's true. The victim was targeted by a mark? What was the mark? Probably that stuff that was shining near Byaki's body, right? The glowing paint. Right? Oh, did I miss it? Where's the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Where 
Where's the glowing paint? Uh, what? I can prove it with this. Wow, that was actually right, huh? Wow. Oh my the god. What you're talking about what is the even? glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? I'm accidentally smart. Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. I need to be more confident. In my that actions. would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Oh, yeah. Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I oh, don't yeah, know anything. Really, really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? Okay. You again? Uh. Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Um, excuse you, that is super. If Teru not Teru like is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Oh yeah, wasn't he in there? That's what I was thinking, wasn't oh, he in there in the room? Step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is- Ow! Ow. Turn Ow. the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Oh yeah, didn't he go over to them? She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? He Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? See, that's what I was thinking. That's right. That's exactly it. But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? Because he I, felt his I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, Somehow. it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. Yeah. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. <sighs> what? Um, if you want, you should try licking me. No Yo. way! You look greasy. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. Who is it? No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? Whoa, dude, calm down. I don't wanna blame you. I just. Please. Everyone knows that killers freak out. We already saw it with Celeste. You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Shut up. I don't like you either. No, not Hajime. anymore. Show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let's hang out on the table, gap self over night vision goggles. Oh my god. Give me a break, dude. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. Um. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. What? It's true, Ibuki heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall, but that doesn't mean he was actually at the dining hall. Um, given the structure of the dining hall, we can't confirm that Teru Teru raised his voice there.
What? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. Ah, I need to think. <gasps> oh my god. He could have yelled to them while he was under the floorboard. Oh my god. Okay. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. No! No! <laughs> Come on, I had a moment. Let me, ask Let you, me did like, you go to the store? Out for There's a no way I, I was somewhere total. I definitely heard. It's handsome. Maybe it was recording? Nope, definitely alive. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot. Yeah! I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Oh my hall. god. Huh? The moment I Why? figured that out felt so good. Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but. It's so, him! So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Yeah. Hold on a second! Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout! Dude, is this his real accent? Is this like another Celeste case? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Aoyama. <laughs> hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? And he wasn't, Well, was he? I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! <laughs> Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Oh, damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Is there any way we can decide? Does anyone actually have a good Why don't we consult on? his memories? His memories? Nah, say I don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? <laughs> Probably can. Oh, 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 you again! I bet they had fun voicing him. Whether or not Tiro Tiro was in the dining hall during the blackout, uh, in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at Tiro Tiro himself. Uh, maybe this. I can prove it with this. Hey! If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, what happened? Then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember. It's so embarrassing. No. This is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Can't lie about this. Huh? Huh? Um... Yeah? It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Um, um, huh? Uh, huh? That's weird. It just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a yeah, pervert like you. Yeah, because remember the first time it happened? Uh, um, even so. <laughs> Nagito, say something! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Oh, were they working together? Wait. 
Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Now, the woman hadn't been cleared up yet, yeah? It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. Only someone. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're caught. The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging no. from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. There were iron skewers, there were... Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said... Try to do it. What a confusing accent. We need to focus and think about this. A thin bare edge tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters and at least 50 centimeters in length. I feel like there was a tool that met those requirements in the same place where the portable stove was. And when Byakia and I found it, something was already missing from there. If so, then that weapon is... Oh, Hangman's Gambit, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, what? S-K-E-W-E-R. Iron Skewer. I-R-O-N-S-K-E-W-E-R. I. I, shot. R. R, 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 R. R O O O O. Oh. Oh, you mean O? Oh. Okay, where's the other one? I R O N. We need an N now. And must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. That's right, as far as I know, that I, I, that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? Indeed. An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Uh, oh! 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 
Abba Levine! Abba Levine? Huh? Did he really just say that? <laughs> He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Maybe he still has it. Island sirens? Just for littering? <laughs> also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means, he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. Probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Man up? How can you man up at a time like this? Oh! 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 Whoa! What is he, a monkey? Finally, we are nearing the end. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say. They'll probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue with your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high speed dispute battle where you beat down a panic expo opponent's excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time bat. Sorry, panic talk action. So it's like the bullet time battle? I hated the bullet time battle. Panic talk action. We'll shorten it to PTA. During. PTA, you must destroy all your opponent's full shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remaining marks with the following while following the tempo of the song. While time will tying your button presses with the tempo marker as it moves across the screen. Match the tempo marker by pressing the left mouse button, and you will be able to lock onto your opponent's remark. If you keep pressing it, you will be able to lock onto multiple remarks at the same time. Afterwards, you release the left mouse button in time with the tempo marker. It will intercept the locked on remark and destroy it. By destroying remarks, you'll be able to damage the soul shields, protecting the opponent, and destroy them. However, if you cannot destroy their remark within the time limit, you will end up getting hurt. During PTA, you can press the escape key to review the controls. But for this PTA, just focus on pressing the left mouse button. Please wait for another time for the other features. Okay. Before we do this, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because it's getting really long. <laughs> and we'll finish the class trial next episode. And, um, you know, do that. So, that being said, thank you so much for watching if you're even here. You're probably not. <laughs> but, um, I will see you guys next time if you are. Bye!